Hi, this is Crystal, and welcome to Potential Adventure. Let's jump right in. I wanted to show you this video while I train two dogs, just doing an obstacle course that I set up. Immediately, this border collie goes right down, poised to lunge. He's a herding dog, in fact, from a cattle farm. Immediately, he is going to lunge at a bike that is coming by that is too close. And I am struggling to hold him back as he bucks in the air. And I just want to get him out of the way from the bike and hopefully try to calm him down. My helper dog, Wally, immediately goes in to help to try and calm him down and prevent him from further red zoning. As you can see, that was just a mild episode. There were more after that. Shortly thereafter, he broke my leash. What this video will show you are adaptive herding techniques. This is a border collie named McLovin. He's from the farm and has moved to Squamish. He's been in Squamish for just over a year, but with no training. So he is about a year and a half to two years. Slow, slow, steady. He is highly anxious when he sees bikes, cars, trucks, people, basically anything that is in his space. As I studied herding commands and I adapted them into our daily walks and working together. So those herding techniques are in his everyday life as he is distracted from the left to the right in front there are triggers all around him you can even see he's chattering his lips move he's licking all of the clear signs of being nervous but yet i'm still able to get through to him because of the herding commands and this is where i believe my niche when i work with farm dogs and rescues you need to tap into the genetics to bypass the fear from what they are anxious and what they are experiencing. As you can see, McLovin here, he is doing amazing. He's doing his stops, come by, push, that'll do, stop, back, everything that I can think of to teach him how to handle situations in a herding context. Let's listen to the original audio and cheer McLevin on. I think what's important to point out is that McLovin, he would be running out in the street right now. I'm serious. He would be lunging at cars. He would be running through the street if we didn't do it this way. He would be lunging at people. He would be biting. He would be rolling around. Honestly, there is a huge advantage when using adaptive herding techniques because you can preempt these terrible things that happen when high energy dogs don't have jobs. So we don't have to train these dogs not to herd. In fact, what we can do is bring out their herding instinct and adapt them to town life. So hopefully 
there are people out there that will see that you can take a nervous border collie that has come fresh from the farm and adapt him by using what his strength is, what he was born to do. And then that way he gets it every day and he is satiated. And this is one happy border collie. Because I tell you, it's not good when this dog can't go outside in public. So hopefully there are people out there that will pick this up and try it out yourself. Because there is always a way to get through the anxiety if we access the genetics, pick up on the strengths of the dog, and train them to be the athletes and working dogs that they are. Thanks for listening. Now we're back to original audio. Come back. Stop. Back. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. Slow. Slow. Steady. Stop. Come by. Stop. And then back up. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Let's go. Good boy. Bye. Stop. Bye. 